Hello, everybody. Good for the queue here. Here with more Freddy Fish. Surprise. Remember what I said? Um, Howdy. Remember what I said when I would be taking... Yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Nice. So yeah, we're doing this. The case of the hogfish wrestlers of Briny Gulch. Because a lot of people requested it. Like, holy shit. I did not expect this. I, I was going to stop because it was the end of my childhood. But I completely discarded the fact that this is a lot of other people's childhoods that are younger than I am. Like Rumi, uh, Minka. She said that this she played most of the time. And a lot of other people too. So I was like, why stop now? There's only two games left. So here I am. Doing this shit. Again. Not that I don't love it. Now this one I have no memory whatsoever. Because things... So this will all be brand new to me. So, yay! Let's play some brand new for the fish. Here we go. It's There's Cousin Calico's ranch. We're gonna be ranchers soon. Rich in ranch. What's this? Oh hi. Having fun. Always kind to his brother. Comes in out of the rain. Gets his homework done early, gives up his feet on the train. Uh, oh, yeah. He's always using his brain. Uh, listens close to his mother, always helps out his dad. Everyone seems to like him. Cause Billy ain't bad. Yeah, even he knows not to mess with that shit. Okay. Wig out! Again. Hi. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're Jesus. ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? <gasps> what does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Huh. You sound not that concerned about it. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. We have our motive, I guess. Money! Jimmy! Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! Got us We're rich! Yes! You got it! We're rich! Um... Yas. We go! Whoa. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square! Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Okay. So, from what I can remember Rumi telling me, is that this one's randomized too, so this will be fun. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? Hi. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Hi. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Liar! 
fucking liar! Oh, baby! Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby. Don't you think? He oh. has your forearms. That's so cute! What's this? What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants! I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Neat. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. You, sir, are very suspicious. You don't want to pump iron? Oh, hi. Oh. It says just buckles. That it do. You having fun there? Oh, Jesus. I'll leave you to your work, sir. Bye, Zs. How about over here? Hello? Hi. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm a... Hi, Granny. Perry Winkle and Apricot are my grandsons. Oh. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Suspicious? Who care? I knit. It's fun. Hello. What this? Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Two, one, three. Well, there's a bite taken out of it, so there's like, yeah, I'll eat it. Hello! Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They, they might have been. that table right over there. Thank you. Well, that's where the note came from. What can I do for you, kids? Damn it. One rutabaga soda, please. Rutabaga? Coming right up. The fuck? Ugh. Shit. Oh! Oops. Rude! Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. <laughs> Good job, my lady. What's Hi, up, sir? I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Fingered Phil, Doctor of Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Fun. What's this? What? Oh! Will we get a new sh Oh, it's Penny Theater! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 
And the ugly. The heavy. <laughs> uh, fun fact about um, Freddie and Luther's voice actors. They still do stuff to this day. Um, Freddie's voice actress does Penelope and Sly Cooper. And Luther's voice actor does some things um, recently, like Super Smash Bros. Brawl, he actually does the voice of Slippy Toad, which is really weird to listen to. I was like, fuck, I know that voice! <laughs> Rude. Noom! <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, y you done did it. And for people that have been asking a lot, yes, I will be doing Putt Putt and Pajama Sam in the future. I'm ne I need to take breaks from this shit, because I got other things to play. But rest assured, um, Putt Putt, I will be starting with Dig, even if it's just one. What? What? <laughs> I swear, this is like... They have like a set amount of sound effects that they can use. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Go! Bullfish. Sea cow! Sea bull. You did it. Oh my god! <laughs> There's Barilla. What? Sardines. Mm. Scale Rider. You. Hi. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. Surprise, motherfucker. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Thank you, Luther. Oh, okay, we're back to the start, so that's about it. Right, <laughs> this one's my favorite. <laughs> Fucking shark. Yay! Okay, enough of this. We off! So we got that fix. You. Huh? Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Oh shit! Fuck! They don't do us! Back! Mm, let's go this way. Roads closed due to construction. That doesn't stop us before. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Well, 
fun. Uh. Yeah. What? Hmm. Road closed due to construction. Fine. Back shortly. Fine. We go. Sure, I think there must be other ways. Yeah, we can go this way. Ooh, what's this? Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Ah, 213! This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Yes. Wood. Two. Wood. Wood. Two. Three. I think this is it. <laughs> yes! We did it! It's open! We got this! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Uh-oh. Someone's coming! Hurry! Hide, you fools! What the? Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! Who are you, sir? The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. Oh, no. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. Uh-oh. That must be one of the rustlers. <gasps> I right hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Can we go in there? What up? It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? Yeah. That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. Oh. And a fashionable bow tie. Point. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. Jesus. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Thank you. Mm. An orange 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Hmm. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause we can't this show you the for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. Should we pick this up this again? This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Oh, God, Luther, no. 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 Ah! Oh. There, damn it, Luther. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It is paper, you think, but. All right, let's go get us some new cook cook clothes. Yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know we can get the belt buckle. <laughs> the fish! Huggies! Alright, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> no! The fish! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. What's up? Can we have a belt buckle? How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials would we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Yeah. Well, have a look at these blueprints. Fine. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back, and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. 
Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, so where do we get that shit? We'll figure it out. Here we go! Hey! I guess whoever was working here is done now. Yes. We go! Oh, hi. Screwdriver! That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Okay. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. Just like one piece? Like that's it? That's just one piece. We go! This way. Why not? You! What's up? Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. Bill Barker! My name is Gil Barker. Gil Barker. And I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. What's up? I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, oh. Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. What's this? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. <gasps> Pay up pronto. What's uh -oh. this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Oh. That's an awfully strange Ooh. poem. You, sir. Maybe you might have done it. Maybe. Did you used to work at a carnival? And a fine job it was. But I came out west to, uh, to explore new opportunities. Oh. Wheel nuts are a growth industry. I see. So you say. We don't have enough money right now, so maybe later, sir. Woo! Woo! Hat! Oh boy! A real ten gallon hat! Oh! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Hmm, then I guess we'll just have to wait. What's this? Crooked Eye Clifford. Wanted Crooked Eye Clifford by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of stagecoach Ticklin. Nah, Slack Hat Zelda! Wanted Slack Hat. Oh my god. So it just randomizes it. Hilarious. We go! Ooh. So there's nothing over here. Ooh. Need. Snook! Ahaha! <laughs> you done did it. Certain time. There must be a. Da da da. 
We haven't gotten our game for the thing yet. Come on, we gotta go back. Yeah. Oh, hello. Huh? Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. Um, can you let us go by? Huh? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Then get out of the way, dingbat! Huh? Dingbat! Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it! Reflex! Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me! Hmm... That's disconcerting. We don't have enough. We still have this way to go. Oh, hello. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slam, professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Neat. That's a neat bow tie you have there, sir. May I have Where's it? Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Oh. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The For apple what? of my. I traded away my monica. For what? For a ratty old bow tie. Oh. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Now. Well, we can trade it back. Oh, hi, sir. Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Okay then. Realizing we're almost out of time here, which is sad because I wanted to play a game like we usually do. But there's no way I can figure it out in the fuck? A pink shark and a sneaker. But we don't have time for that right now, so next time we're gonna possibly figure out what's up with this game. Possibly. I haven't played it before, so it may take longer than usual. <laughs> so, anyway. Have a good day, everybody. Bye!